Yes, I understand you're having problems, Mr. Smith. However, I just can't help you. Oh, sure. It's new video Friday. Hi guys, it's DJ here. Wait, these aren't my glasses. This is better, this is the DJ you all love. So for today's vlog, I decided to share with you a story that happened to me this Monday. Just to fill in some of the backstory here, uh, you should all know Ray William Johnson. If you don't, link in the doobly -doo. Come on, he's massive on YouTube. For such a little guy. <laughs> Dude, that was such a lame joke. Anyway, he has this phrase that he's used in a few of his videos, and he now has a t-shirt of it which says, End Squirrel Aids. And a few months ago, I decided to buy it because I'm a huge fan of his, and I thought it was a funny shirt. However, it's only now that I'm discovering that there are potential problems with this shirt, especially when wearing it out in public. This is what happened to me on Monday. So this Monday here in the UK, it was Bank Holiday Monday, so I was a bit bored, so I decided to meet up with my friends at their flat. So what we thought would be fitting for this friend binge would be to buy some cookies and some large bottles of soda. So we were walking back from the shops and we bumped into someone who lives above my friend's flat. And you know how it is, folks. You haven't seen them for a while, so you decided to stop and chat. You know, to catch up on each other's lives. So there we were, chatting in the street, getting to know what we'd all been up to lately. And then this guy walks past me. Now, I know race isn't really anything to do with this story. However, it's just necessary for what I'm telling you. So I was stood there listening to what my friend had to say to the other person that we were talking to. And I noticed this tall black guy that was walking like, just across from us. And I noticed that he was staring intently at what my shirt said. By the way, if you don't know what this shirt is that I'm talking about, I'll put a link in a doobly-doo for you. So yeah, he was walking past and staring intently at my shirt like this. And he didn't blink, not even once, and he walked past us pretty slowly, so he's staring at me for like 10, 15 seconds. Now you can imagine how awkward this made me feel and how embarrassed I was to be wearing this shirt, despite of how much I loved the shirt. And it only really hit me once I got back to my friend's flat why he might have been staring at my shirt the way he did. And that thought made me realise that I will never wear this shirt in public again. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. So yeah, that's probably one of the most awkward and most embarrassing things that's happened to me lately. But I want to know, what's the most awkward and embarrassing thing that's happened to you? lately. Leave a comment down below or be adventurous and make a video response. You know I watch them and I love them all. Uh, Deej, not to be too pedantic, but I think you only watch them because you only get like one or two in every three months. Okay, dude, there's no need to be a dick about it, okay? Jeez, what a twat waffle. So, I now have two announcements for you guys. How lucky are you? First announcement. Some of you may have seen this on other big YouTube pages where uh, there's this thing called The Moderator. And what it is, is that you can basically ask your viewers questions about what they want to see in your videos. Now, so far, I have one question which nobody has replied to because, you know, I haven't advertised it. So the suggestion that I have on the moderator right now is new video ideas. So if you visit my channel page, you can select any choice of video that you want me to talk about. If it's good enough and if it gets rated high enough, then I probably will talk about it. Vitamin D disclaimer, this does not mean that I have no video ideas anymore. This feature has been set up on my channel just to get some more interactivity with you guys and what you want me to talk about. So yeah, after you're done liking this video and commenting on this video, hop over to my page and suggest some videos for me, and I might talk about them. Second announcement. Now I don't know how many of you will know about this piece of news that I'm about to share with you, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. I am now part of a new channel called Geeks Like You, which you should all subscribe to now by the way, because it's going to be awesome. They set up a video competition in the middle of May to ask for uh, what makes you geeky. So me, being the geek that I am, I decided to set the video response to that contest of Dreaming of Urinals. And luckily enough, I won! So me and the other four members of this new channel are now discussing things that we can do with this channel, so keep your eyes out and subscribe right now. Oh yeah, I have a channel shout out for you guys as well. Everyone should go to EmilyKitty97's page and comment on her channel to say Deej says thank you. And why are we going to do that, Deej? Well, annoying viewer who's really starting to get my tits. In a week, she decided to randomly email me with a fan picture, which was, you know, pretty damn good. So yeah, thanks a lot, Emily. I really appreciated it. I didn't expect anyone to do that for me so soon. So, you know, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I think that's all my announcements done. The video's done. Now it's time for you to like and comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!